Alright, so you've taken some beautiful photos and videos on your Samsung phone and now you want to transfer these to your computer. And the usual way of doing it is by connecting the phone to the computer via USB. Now, what if I told you you no longer have to connect the phone via USB to your computer just to transfer some files between your phone and your PC? You can transfer files between your phone and your PC completely wirelessly. And the application that makes this possible is called Samsung Flow. Now, apart from wireless file sharing, this app actually does a lot more. Like, you can view your phone's display on your Windows PC, and this allows you to open up apps that are installed on your Samsung phone, which I think is a super convenient feature. You don't even need to pick your phone up to use Android applications. Amazing, right? So first, I'm gonna show you how to download, install, and configure Samsung Flow, and then I'm gonna show you all of the features of the application, including the wireless file sharing utility. Well, let's begin. All right, so the first thing you'll need to do is download and install Samsung Flow on your Windows PC, and you can do that from the Microsoft Store. So open up the Start menu and look for Microsoft Store and open this thing up. Inside Microsoft Store, search for Samsung Flow. You can just type Flow and the app should show up over here. Then just click on Install. I'm going to close this because I don't want to sign in into my Microsoft account. And Windows should automatically download and install Samsung Flow on your computer. That's it. Now we're going to launch this. And now we can go ahead and close the Microsoft Store. Okay, so moving on to step number two, we're going to install Samsung Flow onto our Galaxy phone. So for this, open up the Play Store and look for Samsung Flow and download and install this app on your phone. So once the app has been downloaded onto your phone, just open the app up, tap on agree. Now it says here, start the Samsung Flow setup on your computer or tablet. So now comes step number three, pairing the Samsung Flow app that is on our phone with the one that is on our computer. So on my computer, I'm going to tap on start. Now it is saying select new device to register. I'm going to select Charlie's Note 20 Ultra because this is our phone. I'm going to select Wi-Fi or LAN because the phone and the computer are both on the same network. So our file transfers are going to be pretty fast. So it's asking me to confirm the passkey. So I'm going to select OK on the phone and OK on the computer. That's it. Now our phone and the computer are paired. Now on our phone, we need to give the app permissions. So I'm going to give it all the permissions it needs to make it work. Then we will go to settings and give Samsung Flow notification access. That's it. The app on our phone is now paired with the one on the computer. So how do you share files wirelessly using Samsung Flow? Well, it is very easy. Tap on this plus button and you can pick an image, video, or pretty much any files using the built-in file manager on your phone. But for demonstration, I'm gonna go to video and pick a video file. So this is a 4K video, I'm gonna select this. You can also select multiple videos, but just for demonstration, I'm gonna limit myself to the first video. And then I'm gonna press on done, and as you can see, the phone is sending over the video file onto our PC completely wirelessly. Now this is a 4K 60fps video so the file size is around 2 gigabytes, and you can see it is transferring at a fairly decent rate. By the way guys, this happens over Wi-Fi so it's not using your data connection. Uh, this is one reason why the file transfer speeds are so fast. And that's it. Our video file has been transferred over onto our PC. Now on our computer, Samsung Flow stores the video files in pictures and there is a folder called Samsung Flow. So here is our video file. As you can see, it's a 1.58 gigabyte video file and it barely took about half a minute to transfer this file from our phone to our PC. So it is fairly fast. Now this feature is bi-directional. So you can also send files from your PC onto your phone. And the way you can do that is by pressing on the plus button which says share files and then just pick a file or multiple files on your computer and press on open and the Samsung Flow app will transfer them from the PC onto the phone completely wirelessly. See, no cable is plugged in. And that's it. The transfer speeds are pretty good. Now, these are a couple of photos and videos. So we will go to the gallery and there will be a folder called Samsung Flow. And here is our photo. Here's the video. It is playing just fine. And here's the second photo. So yes, this is how the wireless file transfer feature works on Samsung Flow. Uh, another way of doing this is by opening up the photo, 
then pressing on the share button which is this one and then selecting Samsung Flow from this list. That will also transfer the file from the phone onto the PC. As you can see it says file sent. So there are two ways of doing it. And if we go to the pictures, Samsung Flow, here is the photo that we just sent over. Such an awesome and a convenient feature, right guys? Now apart from wireless file transfers, Samsung Flow also does a lot more. So first off, whenever you get a new notification on your phone, it's gonna appear on your PC. So I'm gonna send myself a text message on Snapchat and you will see that the notification is gonna pop up on the PC. So there you go. That's the notification from Snapchat. So you've got notifications on your PC. And secondly, the screen mirroring functionality is awesome. So on your PC, click on Smart View and that will activate the screen mirroring functionality. So it's asking start casting with Samsung Flow and I'm gonna tap on Start Now. So as you can see, that is the screen of our phone and I can operate the phone right from my Windows PC. I don't even need to touch my phone. I can just keep it over here and I will be able to use everything that is on my phone completely wirelessly on my computer. So I can even operate apps that are not available on Windows such as Snapchat. So the screen mirroring functionality is actually very similar to what you get in Link to Windows but this is much better. I can already tell you that this is far more responsive, the lag is minimal and everything is working great. So this is my Instagram account, make sure to follow. So there are a couple of buttons over here. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but this is settings. You can change the resolution. A uh, high resolution works just fine. You can change the sound output. You can take a screenshot by pressing on this button. So let's take a screenshot of Instagram. And there you go, that takes a screenshot. And this changes the orientation of the screen to landscape mode. I think landscape mode does look quite nice. Also. While this screen mirroring thing is going on, the screen of the phone is actually switched off. So it's not like the display of the phone is always gonna stay on while you are using screen mirroring functionality on your PC. So let's close this and go back to our phone. Now the third feature that Samsung Flow gives you is shared clipboard. To enable shared clipboard, you'll need to tap on this icon on Samsung Flow. And now clipboard is shared between the PC and the phone. So as an example, I'm going to open up a note that I created on the phone. Now I want to transfer this on my PC. So what I'll do is select all, then copy. And on my computer, I will open up notepad and control V over here. So that pastes whatever I copied on the phone on my PC. And because this feature is bi-directional, it works both ways. So if I copy something on my computer, right click copy, I can paste that same text on my phone. So I can go to Samsung Notes and long press and paste. That pastes the text that we copied on our computer. Awesome, right? This makes creating school projects a breeze. Amazing feature. It really blows my mind to see how capable these phones really are. Also, the thing is, you don't really need the latest or the greatest Samsung Galaxy smartphone for this feature to work. So here I have the Galaxy Note 9 connected to the Samsung Flow app on the PC. And as you can see, the screen mirroring functionality works perfectly fine. So the thing is, even though this phone is almost 3 years old, it supports full functionality of Samsung Flow. And I can even send files over. So select Samsung Flow and we have an incoming file. And that's it, the phone has sent the file over. So yeah, I'm really happy to see that this feature works perfectly fine on a three year old flagship. Although one thing you have to keep in mind that this feature, Samsung Flow, does not work on mid-range phones and entry level phones from Samsung like the M series. So you won't be able to install the Samsung Flow app on your phone if you have an M series phone like the M51. So unfortunately, it only works on Samsung flagships. That is one limitation of the Samsung Flow app. Anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you have enjoyed. And if you did, make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss out whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next video.